Alex Shern of Anchor 150 Fall Semester 2016. Today is the 6th of October 2016. And I'll be disassembling an original Xbox controller. Disassembling the controller is pretty easy. You just pop the back plate off. There's two rumble packs you take out. You can then take out the main circuit board. And these rubber inserts. Won't bother about really taking out the buttons. Uh, they're like that. They're a little picky to take out and put back in. So. I'll give you a pretty basic rundown of these components here. Um, obviously we have our front and back shell, they're made out of hard plastic. Buttons as well, made out of plastic. These rubber inserts which allow the buttons to make contact with these points on the circuit board right here and over here. They go in there. These are rumble packs, so what these do is they give um, the user some tactile feedback. The spin, which vibrates the controller, uh, they're essentially tiny motors. So that gives the user some actual tactile feedback to let them know what they're doing. Um, this is the circuit board. So a lot of these things are integrated into the PCB. Um, this is all on a printed circuit board. Um, here's your joysticks. They're um, soldered on to the PCB as well as your memory card um, slots right here. So those are all the major components of this controller here. Putting the controller back together again is pretty straightforward. Uh, all you gotta do is pop in this PCB again. You'll then put in your rumble packs. Plug in the second rumble pack. The cord actually sits a certain way so it can fit the back on. The back slides on like this. And then there's seven screws you got to put in here. And there you go. Hope you learned something.